Hi there. Welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. I'm your host, Jack. And in this video, it's going to be slightly different than most of my other tutorial videos. You know, I like to bring you interesting things as I find them. And playing around this evening, I found a great way to print from your iPad to a standard USB printer on either the Mac or on Windows. I've tested it out and it works flawlessly. It's wonderful to be able to pick the iPad up, be looking at the email, and be able to hit print and have it come off on your printer without buying an expensive wireless printer or any special kind of gear just by using a free piece of software. Now the free piece of software is called AirPrint Hackivator. Now I'm going to take this long um, URL here and I'll put that right, right in the show notes with the show. So underneath the, the video here just click probably the more button and you'll see the link to be able to download this video. I mean this piece of software, I'm sorry. So once you do that, just simply go down here to the bottom where it says how to make a printer AirPrint compatible on Mac OS X. Or at the bottom here, you can see how to enable AirPrint printer and it's supported in Windows. So there's a Windows version also. And what makes this software really good and very unique is it's absolutely free. There's no time or you know, no uh, nags or anything on it to uh, make you not want to use it. So you click on the download link, and um, I'm not going to entertain you here without a download, but just save the file. Once you save the file out, now I already downloaded here, so we'll just show it in Finder. Once you download the file, you're going to have to right click on it and extract it. Now that it's extracted, that is the actual application. So just click on it and drag it into your Applications folder. Or if you're installing it on Windows, go ahead and just double click and run the program. Now as the notes tell you, it's very easy to follow along. All you have to do is read a couple sentences and you'll be able to set this up in no time at all. I have a USB HP printer, but I would imagine it work on any USB printer. Uh, but on the Mac, I have it open and I opened it up out of my applications folder. I'm going to minimize this so it doesn't take away from uh, the video here. And we simply get this little program running. You turn it on. Now I can tell you that I am currently running OS X version 10.6.6. So you'll get a couple error messages that says, are you sure you want to do this? Are you really sure you want to do it? Just click on yes or OK. And let it go. It works absolutely flawlessly. I think uh, it will probably test on earlier versions of Macs, but it works perfect. Once you have it set up, then all you got to do is open up your system preferences, or if you're in Windows, you'd open up your control panel, go to your printer, and delete the printer. Delete it, and then once you delete it, automatically and uh, immediately just go ahead and reinstall the printer. Once you reinstall it, make sure you have this check down here where it says share this printer on the network. And you see here I have it set up where everyone can print. And I checked on this printer sharing. Make sure you click on that and share your printer. The computer name is what's going to come up on the iPad. Once you have that set up, it is ready to go. So I just kind of pulled it up into the corner of my computer screen and I'm ready to go ahead to the iPad and be able to print. And I'm going to demonstrate that now for you on the iPad, and we'll see if I can't put these two videos together, because as you know, I'm, I'm recording here uh, on the Mac with screencasting software. So then we'll go ahead and we'll tie these videos together, and we'll see what it looks like. I've never tried this, but uh, we're going to play around with it today. So let's go ahead, and we're going to switch over and go to the uh, camcorder with the iPad. So here we have the iPad. Uh, the audio probably changed now because as you know I'm, I'm using a camcorder and I'm trying to stretch my hands out. You can see my hands there. I'm trying to stretch my hands out so you can see this demonstration. So now we're going to go, um, now we did uh, at, at work here, we did by pages, numbers, and keynote and I found it works very well in those programs as well as anywhere else you can print uh, such as emails. Bring up our email and we'll look at our inbox here and see if I have something smaller. Um, I don't know what I may have smaller here. Okay, so we have an email up here. 
So to print the email, all you have to do is go up here to the top, to the little arrow, which is a send, is what that represents. And then you just simply click on print. Click on print. And there it is, it's a printer. Now it comes up as the shared name. I'm sorry, I told you before it comes up as the computer name, but it does not. Uh, well, at first you have to search for it, but once you find it, it locks it in there. HP DeskJet is what I have. Then I simply hit on print. You can hear the printer going. And once we get that off the printer, so here you go. I'll move the iPad away. Here's the printed paper right here. You can see where it says YouTube on the top, just as it says on the actual iPad itself. It says YouTube on top. Now if we close that out, let's close that out for a minute and I'll show you in pages. It took me a little bit of time to figure this out in pages because it's slightly different. So in pages, I did a little test here. It says this is a test. I'm going to back that off. We hit this little wrench up here, and the wrench actually has a print button. You can see it there, print. Again, it gives you the, the name of the printer. Nope. Let's go back here. Print. And hit print. And there's our test message. You can once again hear the printer running. I'm going to shut the iPad off here. And if you look at the printed piece of paper, you'll see it says this is a test. That's what I uh, typed into that document. So it's really cool. It's really a neat way to uh, be able to print. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll go back to the screencasting software and try to complete this video. So that's it. It's very, very simple using a free uh, piece of software here. Hackivator, um, AirPrint Hackivator. I guess it's another way of hacking uh, to make your AirPrint work. But uh, not anything I can tell you with this is you have to have at least a wireless network set up in your house. And obviously if you're using your iPad on the internet, you do have wireless in your house. And uh, at that point, it will find your printer on the network. Your computer does not have to have wireless. I can tell you that. It can be plugged into your network as long as it has the same uh, basic address scheme. We're not going to get into that. as, And I'm sure it does as your computer uh, and the iPad. And everything will sync up and it will work perfect. So until next time, keep watching my videos. Please click on the subscribe button. And I'll see you back here next time with either another tip or another tutorial video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you. Bye for now.